Hello guys! And this morning was very beautiful on the Black Sea because there were no Russian warships in the Black Sea. Not a single Russian warship in all the Aquatorium of the Black Sea, just as it should be. What's the reason for this beautiful morning? Well, one more Russian warship was upgraded to a submarine and joined a huge, already a huge Russian underwater fleet of their warships that were designed differently. And today we are speaking about Sergei Kotov, who joined the majority early at dawn after the attack of five Ukrainian marine drones. And I'm specifically proud of these small drones that destroy $65 million warships. Let me tell you more in this video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and their warships in our waters. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. In the morning, I'm reading beautiful news that tell me Black Sea does not have any Russian warships in it, and this is beautiful indeed. The sea has a good potential for tourism, recreation, trade, but definitely not as a military battlefield. And when Russia leaves it forever, either going backward to Federation or going downwards to the majority of its Black Sea fleet already that is underwater now, we will return normality back to the region. Anyway, Sergei Kotov is a $65 million Russian warship that started working only in 2022. It was also on the operation together with the famous warship Moskva, next to the island Zmiyiny, or Snake Island as you know it, giving uh, an example to uh, the world of what Ukrainian resilience is and what Russian karma is, because now uh, Sergei Kotov joined Moskva, just as it should be. Anyway, this is a very big warship that was used to guard Kerch Bridge. That's why I think sometime soon we will see Kerch Bridge on fire, because the main task of Sergei Kotov ship was to protect the Equatorium and uh, protect the bridge itself. Another warship is working from the Sea of Azov guaranteeing some uh, security to the bridge but we already know it is just an illusion because even today this bridge did not work for more than 10 hours people could not cross it on cars railway and other things most importantly we all understand that russia does not use it anymore for any serious military uh, load because they realize it's very shaky and I'm sure soon it will be once again upgraded to an underwater bridge. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel, first of all, to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine and the democratic world. And secondly, to discuss in some near future this underwater bridge between <clears throat> Crimea and Russia. And uh, Sergei Kotov uh, was patrolling the waters. It also had a huge... Uh, supply of avia um, petrol fuel because attention it had a helicopter on its board so as a bonus for the work of five ukrainian marine drones we have a helicopter destroyed together with a big warship we don't know there are also rumors that an anti-air missile system might have been on board but even if it was not there the ship was designed and prepared to get one air defense system and now it will not. It will only need this anti-fish defense system or what? I don't know. By the way, in future when Ukraine is victorious, we may start Discovery Series or National Geographic Series. What are Russian ships doing underwater? And I even know the title, Russian warship, you know. Anyway, uh, this is good news and most importantly, it was done by Ukrainian, just Ukrainian resources and creativity using five marine drones. And they soon will be able to target not just uh, sea uh, targets, but hopefully 
also targets in the skies, in the air, and I think it will be a huge, huge uh, breakthrough. But at the moment, we celebrate the destruction of this warship, the destruction of the helicopter on its board, the destruction of the supplies it had on board, and also the absence of Russian warships that escaped, literally escaped the aquatorium of the Black Sea. And this is another beautiful message to those politicians all over the world who are still afraid of Russia. Look at what Ukrainians do and just, just repeat or at least uh, don't stop us from doing that. Anyway, I'm really grateful for the comment that we received from the a minister of defense from the united kingdom who said just a couple of years an operation like that seemed unbelievable but now we see the black sea is to great extent safe again and uh, we can trade in it we can travel in it thanks to ukrainian armed forces and one more russian myth is debunked the invincible uh, navy is now underwater navy anyway uh the more uh, you support us, you invest in our resilience and strength, the sooner the world will become a safer place, just as we demonstrate that with the Equatorium of the Black uh, Sea. <clears throat> and uh, karma always finds Russians. So finally, Moskva warship joined by Sergei Koto and many, many, many more others. Sometimes I have this feeling like Ukrainian armed forces realized you're tired of us destroying that many Russian aircraft. So we decided to switch to warships and hopefully we will mix that uh, destructions and have more and more updates like that. To celebrate this Ukrainian marine victory, we launch a new drop in our merch shop. Go check it because it finally has drones and other connected to Ukrainian weapons and Ukrainian resilience things. And it is a good way to first celebrate Ukrainian bravery and resilience and second to remind the people we need your support to finish this evil. United we stand and the more news like that we receive, the more confident I am that this victory is close to us. Thank you once again for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. I greatly value your presence in my life. Join me on Instagram. I'm trying to show more of everyday Ukrainian life there. Also, we have a beautiful Discord community and I'm present on X and on Twitter. Let me know in the comments below, did you suffer a bit from this attack on Facebook and Instagram when lots of people were dropped out of their accounts? I had that for 20 minutes, but you know, in Ukraine, we had so many cyber attacks of uh, Russia and other stuff that we did not even had enough time. We did not have enough time to get frightened. Anyway, we live in a very turbulent time. Um, and as often we say in Ukraine, we're a bit tired of living in a history book. So hopefully soon we will finish this evil and start living normal, boring life. Thank you once again for being friends. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. If you like the video, do like it. But most importantly, united we stand. Slava Ukraini!